All right, here we are in Vicky 3 Academy. I'm Walker, uh, and we're talking about critical technologies that I think everyone should prioritize, um, specifically today, mechanical tools. So, mechanical tools, what are they? Why do I care about them? Why do I care about any technology? Um, so, what does a technology do for you? Technology, you spend this weekly innovation to drive up um, research in a specific thing, uh, and most of them, are gonna modify your society in some way. They're gonna give you either like a little flat bonus to stuff. Um, they might let you take new diplomatic actions, lead to a different mutual, uh, a different um, production method. Um, some of them just lead to and also give you passive modifiers. In the production tab, a lot of things are gonna change those methods of production in ways that are gonna advantage you. So, mechanical tools. Why do I like mechanical tools so much, um, especially in comparison to what people seem to be liking to do right now? Atmospheric engine. Reason is because of the way supply works and because of the way demand works. Um, so prior to developing either mechanical tools or atmospheric engine, you are going to get steel working, um, which is going to allow you to make steel mills. However, unless you have something to like use the steel on it kind of doesn't really do anything um and so you like don't get any meaningful benefit from making steel without something to spend it on you can try to export it you can try to to encourage people to buy the steel from you um and that's a way to have a steel industry up and running but it's a really unreliable and and inefficient way to do it so you really do need to find a way for you to consume steel locally so you can um do atmospheric engine and thereby get a motor industry up and running but if you did that then you'd be producing engines which unless you have a way to spend the engines you're again at a dead end um but on the other hand if you went into mechanical tools and got steel tools you would be able to spend steel in order to make more tools which given that you're going to use tools for basically everything great awesome so why do i even care about getting steel up and going like honestly if if it's not that big a deal then it's not that big a deal right kind of but not really because of the way um, market price works um, so market price is going to be based off of the balance which is that difference between your sell and your buy and so if you've already developed an economy in a resource or a, an industry like steel because you're already using it in something like tools which are ubiquitous and useful um, then that'll allow you to build up a steel economy before you even get into motor industries. And that'll make it even easier and cheaper for you to adapt not only motor industries, but also railways. Um, and so by getting that line up uh, super early, you get a huge advantage in terms of your ability to just like throw rail all over the universe. Um, but of course, that's not like the end of the, the utility there. Sulfite pulping is really, really good because it'll allow you to get um, a sulfur economy up and going, which means that it'll be even cheaper to get a chemical plant economy up and going um, and then slaughterhouses of course are just like generically useful ways for you to spend tools for most countries i don't think you're going to spend a lot of time and effort building a livestock build, building up a livestock ranch but if you already have it then like there's no reason to not be using this um, and so the mechanical tools technology it it really is like the first technology out of all of these that i i think everyone should prioritize getting it does have this caveat of course that in order to build these steel mills you do need coal and iron um, and so if you do not have coal and iron you are going to have some serious issues but not just in regards to mechanical tools if you don't have coal and iron you can't make steel which means you cannot industrialize um, and so if you don't have coal and iron you you need to go get it um, my recommendation is with puppets um just and then annex them uh but if you want to try a different direction you can custom un unions absolutely can work um but be aware be aware that those will be probably weaker than puppet annex um until the until the the paradox ai gets good at responding to internal demand within market um yeah, but that's mechanical tools. I, I really think that because of the way it develops, it, it develops not only um, an incredibly, incredibly useful way to, to just get tons of tools into your market, which is always good for anyone who isn't like a British puppet. Um, just getting easy access to tools in your own market is always good for you. 
and it develops a steel industry and a sulfur industry all from one technology. It, it, I really cannot speak highly enough of, of uh, mechanical tools. All right, that's Walker. That's a, a critical technology, mechanical tools. All right, take care.